Hi friends, welcome to DevOps Ansible AML scripting course video series presented by Narendra from Do With Python Technologies. In this video, we are going to see your playbook, Ansible playbook with conditional statements. So before going to work with the conditional statements in your playbook, first of all, we will see what is conditional statements, right? See, conditional statements are expressions. Like uh, suppose A equals to B, X greater than Y, expression. And they work on Boolean values like true or false. Suppose if A equals to B, A and B values are equal, then the resultant is true. If we take X greater than Y, let me take suppose two values. Suppose three less than four. This is first of all some expression. And the resultant is always either true or false. Boolean value you are getting, suppose because this is the true, right? So you will get a true. Suppose if nine less than four, that is false. Then in that case, you will get false. So that means this is the expression. The resultant is always either true or false. And this type of expressions are used in conditional statements. Nothing is that. Very simple. And this based on conditional statements, either in programming language or in scripting language, they compute some different actions. Okay. Suppose I want to create a file in remote server using our Ansible playbook. Yes, you can create it. But while creating, if there is a file in remote location with the same name, whatever the file name you are going to create, then what? So we have to check a file is existing or not on remote server before its creation. So that is our condition. Okay. In order to check this type of situations, we have to use conditional statements. Suppose if there is a, if file is there, then you don't want to create a file. If it is not there, then you have to create a file. Okay. Otherwise, simply take one more uh, one more task. Suppose I want to start my HTTP server on remote remote servers or my on my Ansible clients. If it is already running, then you don't need to start it. If it is not running, then you have to start it. So either running or not running, you have to check. That is the condition. Suppose you are trying to write a code to start your web server, I mean HTTP server on remote server. But before going to start, you have to check condition, whether that is in running state or not. If it is not, then only you have to start it. Okay, That is the condition, say running or not running. So in that type of situations, you have to use conditional statements. So in AML scripting, okay, uh, we are having a section called when section in your tasks. In each task, you can include one when section. Based on that when section, you can check your required condition. Okay. So suppose you are going to start, uh, you have written some code to start your uh, web server. That is a task, just assume. Under task, one of the tasks is you are going to start your web server. So after writing that code, you have to make a condition. If it is not running, then only I want to start it. For that, you have to write in the task itself, one of the section, when section. Okay. See, let me go with how to use that how, a conditional statement in Ansible book, Ansible playbook or in your AML scripting. See, after each task in task section, we have to write when expression or when section if you want to check the condition. Here expression is nothing but either starting or I mean either running or not. Okay, if suppose you are going to work with files, if file is existing or not, that expression you have to write. But finally, that expression result must be either true or false. Okay. Now, if there is a condition or if you require some condition, then we have to include this expression in your task. But it is optional. Okay. If you want to work with your uh, playbook uh, in a smooth way, then based on situation, if it is required, then you have to include when section in your each task. That's it. So suppose for this, 
uh, when section how you can include in your task see i am directly starting with the task section so in task generally we will write one or two or three or four tasks based on your requirement okay just assume one of the tasks i am writing so whatever it may be task for that you will require one module and its code i mean here arguments you will write after completion of this task immediately in that you have to write when and some expression now here how it will work your code how it will work suppose here you will write your required code for your task but before write before executing this task your ansible will check this condition when whenever there is a when this expression will check what is the expression there here if that expression resultant is true then only your task will execute suppose this expression is false then your task can't be executed by your ansible that's it so that you can make a condition so suppose you are going to write uh, some task that is starting uh, to start your web server you will write first your task but immediately after completion of your task in your task itself you have to add one more item that is when section in that you have to write some expression here that expression should be able to get either true or false based on your required task so if it is true then only your code will run i mean your uh, task will execute if it is false then your task won't be executed that's it very simple okay let me go and write uh, some simple script to understand this when so i am going to open my terminal observe here okay okay i am going to create some simple uh, ml script or playbook that is with when condition statement dot py sorry dot ml so we know that we have to start uh, each ml script with high three hyphens and you can also write some comments so this script is using when section in task okay guys i'm going to start my ml script with the three hyphens then immediately you have to write your place you may have any number of place in your ml script i'm going to write only single play and you have to start each play with hyphen right suppose i am going to write some information name this will work based on when expression okay and you have to provide some host now i am taking host as my local host itself then directly i am defining task section i am not including here variable section see variable sections defining variable sections is optional if it is required you can, can define it otherwise you can neglect it simply skip that part then task section so we know that tasks are list number of you may have any number of tasks under each task section so as of now i am going to create one task so for task also you can write some information with name key suppose this will uh copy or this will write some information write info into a file under temp location just i am writing so in order to write some information to file you can use copy module or shell module or file module now i am using copy module and i required here i don't have source because i am not transferring a file or i am not copying a file directly i am writing some content to your file so i need i should have only destination argument so temp some when file dot txt i want to create this file and in that i want to write some content so content argument so what i want to write is this is a file this file is created suppose this file is created based on when expression see now as of now we have completed our task code 
right this is the task we completed that but for this if you want to include when section immediately after completion of your task itself you have to write when section and here you have to write some expression that expression resultant must be either true or false suppose if it is false then your task won't be executed i mean this file won't be created with this information but here whatever the expression you are going to write here that is true then this will become it will create it suppose i am as of now i am not writing expression directly i am writing result you can write some expression such that that expression resultant may be either true or false but as of now because you don't know how to create expressions as of now so that's why i am write directly writing the resultant yes you can write that also false so i am writing okay if it is false directly we are saying that condition is false then your file won't be created let me save this and actually our code is with okay actually we are creating under temp location with this file name first let me uh, see whether there is a file with that name or not in my temp location i'm mm, i'm having different files let me remove them under temp i'm having demo.txt some handler then temp high then temp mine still i'm having some more files let me remove hyphen rf root temp my one file then my my two file and i'm having one more new one dot txt now i'm having in my temp location the list of only this file okay only single file is that that is system file so don't bother about that okay now i am going to run my playbook so in order to run your ml script or playbook syntax is ansible playbook then your ml script then i am going to enter what is the wrong end of stream also where the file ending line number 11 yeah we forget to end with quotations here we started with quotation in content but we forget to end with quotations now it's over see change is zero means there is no action done or your task not yet completed skipping up there here skipping simply your task on your local host i mean on what uh, Post given the on that, okay. So this is our task, actually. But we are skipping that because I uh, return when equals to false. Now even though if you observe now in temp location, you don't have files. You are having a single file that to previously existing file. Now I am going to do some modification in your file. That is, I am going to write now when equals to true. I mean when value I am going to write as true. now i will run our playbook now in this case it will create you can observe the output as well see change one but previously change is zero means right there is no task uh, i mean task not yet completed there but task is completed change in local host you have done one change let me see the files under temp location yeah when file.txt this is the file we want to create in our code right see our code this is the file under temp location we are going to create yeah it's created because you have written true of course without this condition if you delete simply this condition directly it will work whenever if you want to include condition then you have to write it that's it so guys that is the way how to use conditional statements in your ansible playbook anyway we won't use directly like when true or false you have to write some expression here based on that expression it will work your task will execute under your task section see 
if you required more number of vents i mean for each task if you required one condition yes you can write it for each task suppose you can write one more task here and it's code then here you can write when section that's it so that you can include for each task you can include when section but unnecessarily we won't write whenever if there is a condition then only we will use when section that's it okay guys thank you for watching this video do subscribe my channel so that you will get notifications whenever you post some new videos okay bye